Hi, my name is Josh Evelsizer, and today I'm going to talk to you about managing your Google accounts using Chrome profiles. Uh, why would we do that? If you have multiple Google accounts, or even if you just have one, uh, by signing into Chrome, you can solve a lot of problems and you can make things a lot less confusing. So if you've ever found yourself clicking on your Gmail and it opens a different account or your Google Drive and you're opening an account that you're not expecting to see or you don't understand why you're not seeing what you wanted to see when you're in Google Drive or so on and so forth, 95% um, of the, the time this is probably going to be your issue. So uh, here we go. Let me show you how to manage your Google account uh, using Chrome Profiles. Uh, the assumption here is that you have multiple Google or Gmail accounts and even if you just have one, uh, logging into Chrome does help solve some issues and make life easier for you, uh, so continue watching. Next, all right, now we're going to talk about logging in. How do you log into your Chrome profile, or how do you log into Chrome using your Google profile? Uh, all kind of the same thing. Google.com, uh, click on the profile menu icon, so that's this guy right up here. And uh, when you click on that, if you've not logged in before, it'll just be a blank uh, circle for a head and the silhouette of shoulders, you know, that generic avatar that you that shows you've never logged in before. Um, if you have logged in and maybe you didn't realize it, uh, you might see your initials. Uh, so if you see the first letter and the last letter of your name, uh, you, that, that shows you that you've logged in at some point. Uh, but ultimately, uh, once you click on that icon, then you're just going to click on Turn On Sync and then you're going to click on the sign in button and once you've signed in and sync is turned on uh, this is sort of what it will look like for you uh, I have dark theme turned on and I have multiple Google Chrome profiles um, so it looks a little different for me than it will for you uh, but what you might want to do next is personalize uh, your Chrome accounts or your Google accounts so you can tell which one you're in I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute uh, so how do you personalize? Well, you want to name your account, and you can do that right here. You can see I've named mine Evil Sizer, and then you can pick a theme. And this is also a place you can pick an avatar, um, and there are multiple locations for uploading a photo if you wanted to do that instead. How do you toggle between accounts? Uh, well, once you have logged in to your first account, uh, then you'll want to add another account down here with the add button and log in to that account just like you did with your first account. Um, so once you have more than one account, they'll be, they'll be shown right here as you see with mine. Uh, and then toggling just becomes a matter of selecting the account uh, that you want to toggle to. So if I were to click on my Army account, you would see that I already have it open, um, but it would open that browser for you. All right. How to toggle between accounts. What's next? Uh, make sure you're matched up. Yeah, this is where people get really frustrated. Um, could be. So you see here I'm in Gmail, and this is my professional or pro account is what I call it as a quick short name here. Uh, but you can see the black and white Josh Evilsizer head here and the black and white Josh Evilsizer head up here. Um, when, you, when your accounts are mis mismatched is when one of these doesn't match the other. And that's when you start getting frustrated, potentially, and confused uh, about why you're not seeing the Gmail you're used to seeing or the Google Drive you're used to seeing, uh, or you're just not logged into the account, the account that you wanted to be logged into. So matching these heads is what's important. Um, you can see here I could switch to my other Gmail account, um, and then I would have a, a mismatch. Um, it's going to ask me to sign in now. I'm not going to do that. Uh, and that's where things can get confusing, um, especially when, Google, when you're in Google Drive and you're trying to work on documents that aren't shared with you or, or aren't shared with that other account that you're using. All right, so make sure you're matched up. Make sure the small head matches the big head. Uh, mismatches are those things that cause problems. All right, how multiple Chrome accounts help you work most efficiently is what we're going to talk about next. Uh, so log in. I've already talked to you about how to click on the profile menu icon, turn on sync, and sign in. All right, setup. So <clears throat> the first win here is when you when you when you uh, sync your Chrome profiles, everything goes with you. Uh, so no matter where you log in at, if you log into that Chrome browser once you're on a new computer or some other computer, everything's going to come with you, um, no matter where you are. Uh, your bookmarks. 
all your auto fills, you know, filling out forms on websites. It'll save your name, your home address, your phone number, uh, even save your credit card information if you want it to. Uh, very convenient, especially when you're on mobile. Uh, typing with your thumbs gets gets kind of tiresome. Filling out credit card information can get old. I know first world problems, right? Um, they'll take your history with you. So if you're trying to search for something and you search for it a lot, it's going to offer that suggestion to you when you go to search for it. Um, again, passwords I already mentioned that, and of course you're automatically logged into other Google services like YouTube, etc. So being logged into Chrome helps you with all these things, um, and then these separate Chrome profiles is where things start to get really groovy. So. Uh, I'll talk about that as it relates to context. Um, so if you have multiple, obviously we're talking about having multiple Google accounts and you have to bounce back and forth between those during the day or you've got other work you have to do in other accounts, um, this gives you automatic context of where you're at. What, what does this mean? Um, when you look at your Chrome profile, the color, the setup, everything you're looking at clues you into where you're at. Let me give you a visual here. So when I see this, I know I'm in my professional account just because of that great little mountain background and those silhouetted trees right there. Um, when I see this, I know that I'm in my army account. I see camouflage, I see a big airplane. I immediately know that I'm working uh, in my army account and it shifts my mindset to you know what I'm working on at the time. So I'm, um, th the opposite example would be to leave all of these, the generic Google white that, that, it, com that it comes with. And now you're looking at a, at a Gmail account and you're looking for an email and then you, you know, five minutes later, oh yeah, I'm in the wrong email account. Um, this gives you that automatic recognition of, of where you're at. I think I had one more example I was going to show. Oh yeah, my personal Gmail account, uh, which is this neat, neat little countryside on the beach here. All right, so using themes. So those are theme. That's what I've shown you here. Um, if you can see from the top of the Word or Google document up, there's a colored background. Um, and then in my Gmail account, uh, you'll see here this, this airplane is a separate account. What do I mean? So Chrome can have themes as well as Gmail. Uh, they can each have themes. Um, so let's talk about that for a second. Um, using a unique one for each different account, which is what I've shown you here. So Chrome, to change your theme, you would go to Settings, Appearance, Themes. So Settings. Always takes me a minute. Uh, appearance and then Themes. And so Theme is right here. Mine is Material Blue, and I could change that if I wanted to. Um, the other way that you can go to Themes here from the Chrome Web Store. And you see here the themes are all here and you can search for different themes and um, do all kinds of stuff to, to find what you're looking for. There's a lot of them, uh, view all, so on and so forth. Anyways, this is where you would get a theme, uh, but this theme is what dictates the color of your browser, all right? Um, what, you, what I have done, what you see here with my Gmail account is I have picked a separate Gmail theme um, that uh, doesn't match but doesn't clash with the Chrome theme. So how did I do that? From settings, themes, view all, and then obviously I've, <laughs> I'm <laughs> kind of lazy. I picked the first one, but it seemed to match and it looks nice. So there you go. Um, that is how I set up the two separate themes. And that is how I recognize instantly uh, where I'm at when I'm moving around browsers uh, throughout the day, if I've got to bounce between one work setting and another. All right, what's next? Uh, my setup, personal, I we'll uh, showed you that already, uh, is that brown theme right here. And I'll talk to you about, real quick, about bookmark links, Google Associated Sign-On, or the SSO, and Chrome Save Passwords. Uh, so more of the so what about why you would want to have different Google Chrome profiles. So when I'm doing personal stuff, uh, I've got all my personal stuff right at my fingertips. So if you look at the browser uh, and then the bookmarks toolbar at the very top here, uh, you'll see there's a Google Drive link. It's going to take me to my Google Drive for my personal account. Uh, there's my task manager. There's my calendar. Now these are going to be the same across Google profiles or... or uh, I'm going to have these shortcuts no matter where I'm at. Where it starts to get personal is, so I'm in my 
personal browser here, and here is where I have my, my chat links because it's going to log me into WhatsApp, my phone, and so on and so forth in this browser. Uh, I generally don't open my chat functions or my so I can I can message from my phone here, right? So I've got this uh, I've got this link to my Google Messages. I wouldn't want to do that uh, from this Army account because I'm doing Army work there. Here I'm doing personal stuff, right? So things that are grouped together because they're alike. Um, more examples. What do I have here? Uh, so I've got some personal projects that I'm working on here. Um, and then here I have all of my reading links, so personal and professional reading. But uh, there's a link here to my chart, um, which is uh, gets you. It's a medical app. Um, talk to your doctors and things like that. Uh, Evernote again, it's a personal account, so my Evernote link is here. So on and so forth. There's all these links: Instapaper, Pocket, Google Photos. Um, again, so on and so forth. All personal stuff that I would want to access while I'm doing personal things. So conversely, if I am doing army things, I don't need all that stuff. I need different stuff. Um, and so here, uh, a common thing that I'm working on for the army is our evaluation reports. So as a battalion commander, uh, I have a number of those to complete every year, uh, up in the upwards of 60 or so. And uh, so I've got this link here that takes me to all the things that help me write my evaluation reports very rapidly. I've got links to Teams, I've got links to the OER website, so on and so forth. But this is a very work-oriented setup right here. I don't have personal stuff. Um, quick access links over here, you can see I've set up some folders with all the stuff that I use regularly. And you can see that if you were to take my army and my number, a number of work accounts that I have, I'll show you all of them in a minute, I would run out of space for bookmarks. Um, so by spreading those bookmark, putting those bookmarks in the places they belong when I'm working on those items or when I'm working on things in context, uh, then I have the right stuff at my fingertips. All right, I've talked about most of this. Uh, Google associated sign on again. So if I'm in my personal account and I click on YouTube, it's going to sign me to YouTube on my personal account. So everything just works, right? Um, what else here? So I've showed you my personal account, talked about Gmail, reading. Uh, there's also a link to my to, to Napster and other uh, music apps, which I wouldn't put in my work account because not the same. Um, although I do listen to my focus music um, while I'm working, but that's on my phone anyways. Um, a, a browser not shown here is my Atlas work account, which is a dark blue account. And again, the Gmail looks different as well. Um, talk about the camo or the army account that I just showed you. So those bookmarked links are all relative to army stuff. Uh, again, Google associated sign on and saved passwords are all for army work stuff. And uh, you'll see that you saw there, there's, there's not really any social media, no YouTube. Um, it's all focused army work. Uh, whereas here, when I'm in my pro account, uh, I've got a link to, uh, let's see here, all my social accounts. Um, as well as uh, my, cre my create links. And uh, I think these are my publish links. Actually, these are my create links. Um, so it's just the setup is very curated for the work that I'm doing, uh, all context-based, right? Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, the next uh, section here talks about my professional account, which is this right here, or side hustle, um, whatever you might call it, creator. Um, the bookmark links all relate to that, as I just showed you. Again, Google sign-on. Uh, or SSO is related to all the accounts that I use for my professional account. So it link, I, I, I immediately log right into the right accounts. Um, and those Chrome save passwords, if I were to use those, um, which I used to use, but now I use LastPass, uh, also very handy. All those passwords are saved. Um, also incredibly handy for you when you're in your work account. If you use, happen to be lucky and use Google Workspace at work, um, that's going to help you get, in, get into all of your Google work accounts uh, a lot quicker as well with those safe passwords. All right, we talked this about this before. Avoid those mismatch profiles. That's where things uh, get really confusing. Um, it was it was really bad a couple years ago, I think, when Google first started doing it. Uh, I think Google's done a better job of showing you when you first log in, hey, which account do you want to be logged into? Um, but sometimes they don't show you that you need to log into your account and how to set up those separate accounts, uh, which is what I've just done for you here. All right, 
uh, exception at work. Uh, so you're in work and you need to save an article. What am I talking about here? The exception to the mismatch profiles is, um, here we go. So I'm at work, army work, and I have an article in my inbox that I want to save to my read later system, which is pocket or Instapaper. Um, when I click on that extension up here, there's pocket. I didn't have it pinned, so you didn't see it. But when I click on that here, it's going to ask me which account do I want to log in using. And of course, I'm going to use my personal account. And you can see pocket is actually uh, was right at the top here. There it is. There's the link to actually get the pocket. Uh, and then there's the uh, the shortcut. I've started using Instapaper more now, but is up here. So it's going to ask me to log in using my Google account. And, th and in this instance, you would, of course, want to use your personal Google account where you have established that Read It Later app um, or Evernote, where I save all my Evernote stuff, right? It's my personal account. So if I'm in my Army account and I want to save something to Evernote, uh, then I want to log in to my Josh Evilsize or Gmail account, not this Army account. So that's the one time where you would kind of pivot from the, the work account that you're in and reach back to that personal account. Why would you use multiple Chrome profiles? So in case everything I just shared with you didn't land, I'm gonna hit it, hit the highlights here real quick. Uh, your setup goes with you. Uh, so no matter where you log in at, log into that Chrome browser and boom, all your bookmarks, all your saved passwords, all your stuff goes with you. Uh, work in context, so you avoid that context switch, switching. Uh, everything you need to do what you are doing, what you are focused on, is right there in front of you uh, at your fingertips. And of course, this is assuming that um, you save bookmarks uh, using your bookmarks toolbar uh, or your other bookmarks or, or, or do, some kind, do something similar to that. Uh, keep your accounts and files separate. Yeah, so... Uh, I want my professional files to remain in my professional account. I want my Army files to remain in my Army Google account and my personal files to remain in my personal account. And lastly, of course, my work stuff stays into my work account. And by switching profiles, it makes it, it draws a very crisp, sharp, uh, hard box or hard edges uh, around those different accounts that I'm working from and there's no, there's no overflow, there's no bleed over, there's no mismatch. Uh, it's all very clean and keeps everything separate. All right, and of course, very handy to have immediate access to my history, passwords, links, and be automatically logged in to all those services that I use when I'm using that account. Uh, I think I hit everything. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is just take you down to the very end uh, where I asked you that if, if, you, if you like what you saw here, hit the subscribe button. If you think someone else could use what I just shared with you, please share this with them. Uh, and please leave questions in the comments. Uh, I will absolutely respond and I'll try and do so with a video if I'm able to. Uh, and here's me asking you to remember uh, that this outline will be in the description uh, to help you out uh, and along with all the ways that you can reach me online. So check it out there. Thanks very much for your time and have a great day.